interesting and a reaction from Sunil Dugal, the CEO of Darbar, joins us now on the phone line from New Delhi. Mr. Dugal, appreciate you joining us. We now have uh, some clarity on uh, what happens uh, to some of the consumption items, of course, packaged and branded foods. That decision is yet to be taken. But on the back of what you've heard from the finance minister so far, toothpaste, hair oil, soaps in the 18% bracket. What do you make of it? How much will this benefit you? Uh, this will benefit. We do sell a fair amount of hair oils and toothpaste, and currently we are paying around the 23-25% odd uh, tax. So 18% will definitely be beneficial, and uh, this covers around 20% of our domestic business. But many of the others, for example, what happens to shampoos, what happens to packaged uh, juices is not very clear at all. Mm. You know, on the issue of packaged juices, and I had a conversation with uh, the food processing minister yesterday, and she seemed to suggest that, for instance, ice creams or packaged juices may find themselves in the 28% bracket. Where do things currently stand? Uh, and uh, uh, if that were to be the case, what would the impact be? Well, currently we pay in the region of 12% for packaged juices. We don't sell ice creams, but packaged juices is 12%. So 28 will definitely be uh, not, not something which we'd welcome. We do expect uh, the rate to be 12% and not uh, 28 for at least uh, juices and nectars. This is a segment which is considered healthy. Hmm. Um, and we certainly won't expect a 28% rate. Yes, it, the, of course, as I'm clarifying, packaged and branded foods, the decision is yet to be taken. But Mr. Dukal, coming back to the issue of toothpaste and uh, soaps and hair oils, and as you said, uh, the current tax incidence uh, for you is about 23%, and it's going to be down to 18% post the GST, uh, and 20% of your business is on account of this. In terms of demand stimulation, uh, what do you believe that the impact this could have? Well, we'll have to see how the prices move, and um, we just can't uh, uh, get a quick uh, uh, reaction to that at this point in time. We'll have to see how, how the input credits kick in. But um, uh, if, if the prices are lowered or if promotions are increased, which is a proxy for price lowering, it certainly would stimulate demand, which is um, at the moment fairly depressed. So I think it's good for the consumer and good for us. Okay. Uh, you know, uh in terms of clarity now, and, and we're still awaiting the fine print, the finance ministry hopefully will put up the details in a short while from now. Uh, what is it that you would like to see? Uh, also, you know, for instance, we've got uh, sugar, tea, coffee, edible oil in the 5% rate, cereals in the exempt category, milk in the exempt category. I don't know whether all of that makes uh, any difference to your uh, specific business or not, but uh, in general, the direction that the government seems to have taken with the rate fitment exercise along expected lines? Yes, I think uh, it was pretty well articulated that soaps, toothpaste and hair oils would be at 80%. So this doesn't come as a surprise. But I think um, what, what happens to Ayurvedic products, Ayurvedic medicines and supplements, what happens to packet juices, what happens to uh, cosmetics like shampoos or skin care. So there's a lot of uh, parts of the portfolio which uh, will, uh, we probably will get clarification tomorrow or uh, sooner, soon after that. And uh, so, so, so we'll have to take the view only after we see the full picture. Yes, uh, that will certainly uh, uh, be when we will probably get uh, a much better idea from you on the impact this will have on your businesses. But Sunil Dugal, appreciate you joining us there with a quick reaction on the basis of the information that we do have. Uh